Hi there again. Um, today's exercise, we're going to look at dimension strings. So, I think the persons that did their plan views for the house, now we want to look at dimensioning. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to be in our floor plan, the, the, the initial floor that you did your house in. Okay, this is just an example file. I got it from a uh, accent certification exam book practice. And uh, what we're going to do here is the very first thing we want to do, we want to duplicate this floor plan. Now, um, you're going to have to watch the duplicating floor plan uh, video or tutorial before you do this. But just for this started off, let's just go here to the project browser and do a right click and we're going to duplicate view we're going to just duplicate the view um, you should know what these others mean but if you don't go back and look at the uh, duplicating views tutorial press duplicate and what happens is you duplicated that view and you notice there's no details here that was okay so right now we'll do a right click here and we want to rename this view. So we'll just rename this floor plan one and we'll call it our dimension plan. Hit OK. So now we're in this drawing. And what we want to do is basically place some dimensions. So we'll just move our cursor to the grid lines, go to the quick access toolbar, and you can hit align dimensions, or you can go and annotate. But and then we'll place dimensions across. And as you notice with the grid lines, it just highlights and you can snap. So all the dimensions will go directly once the highlight, the, I mean the object of dimension 2 is highlighted. Okay. There. We'll go in this direction for these dimensions here. Mm -hmm. That simple. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to dimension the walls. We didn't have grid lines in your assignment, but uh, for the walls now, you are know the line dimension. And then basically, in the options bar, we want to select wall faces. Okay? And then we want to take, um, let's see, how did they do that? Okay, and then and then here we have individual references. We want to go entire walls. Oops, sorry about that. My phone going off. So we'll pick entire walls, and then we'll go to our options. And here our options gives us the uh, option of, of openings, centers, widths, or whatever. So in this case, we it's already defaulted to what we want. Openings with so we'll click OK here. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll pick this wall in there. So we have our dimension string. Okay. Now we can pick this wall as well. So there, that's very simple. Um, how do you add? Uh, dimensions now and let you notice here we didn't the, these uh, walls weren't dimensioned so what you do when that case happens in that scenario you pick the wall and then you add edit witness line to so place line there one here as well in here Pull it out and there you go so it's very basic how do you add dimensions here 
So on your assignments, the floor plans, just go in and duplicate a view. I'll put, post the uh, duplicate views video or tutorial. But this is how you do this. So now we just add a few more dimensions here to get this thing or get you fully comfortable with dimensioning type. So let's go. Okay, let's go in here where we have this wall, this curved wall. So for that, it's just simply um, annotate and dimension radius. And we just pick the wall, and there's our radius. And then, in fact, if you want to pick more dimensions, and then we can go here and set an entire wall, and there's that wall. And then, or we can go here again and say individual references. Pick this wall right here. Sorry. An individual reference. Okay? So that's what's happening there. We can do centers. Openings, we can, we can keep that shut down, or however you want to um, dimension it, or however you need to dimension it. Anyway, that's basically it for dimensioning. Very simple, straightforward. So, dimension your floor plans, duplicate a view, and dimension your floor plans. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.